Hi guys and welcome back to my knitcast. This is episode four I believe. Time flies. Wow, episode four already. That's cool. Um, anyway, welcome back if you're a returning viewer or just welcome if you're here for the first time. I will hope you will enjoy my ramblings. Um, I will try to keep it a bit shorter this week than I have the, the previous weeks. I will attempt to anyway because I'm really really late uh, at filming this this week. I've been very busy all day. I've been doing uh, spring cleaning kind of thing um, at my house and uh, you know I've been really busy all day and I just realized it's getting late, it's getting darker, I'm losing all the light because I don't have any studio lights, I'm just using natural light. And so I realized that I'd, oh, I really have to sit down and do this now. So, here we go. Um, this week's finished objects, I'm sorry to say, there are none. Um, that does not mean I haven't been knitting because I have a lot. And what I have been knitting on, first and foremost, is my scarfy thing. I have been a woman obsessed with this thing. Um, are any of you knitting this one? Uh, it's Sakal on Ravelry from the, oh, I can't say the name, Espace Tricot, I think. Um, anyway, it's a free download if you want to do this uh, yourself. And I... Yeah, I just kind of jumped on it like, um, well, it's almost two weeks ago now, or a week and a half. And um, yeah, so I thought I'd show you what it looks like. And it's really long now. So here is the beginning. And I've done this. I don't remember how far I'd knitted last week. But I think I've done most of the knitting this week. You see there's a lot of knitting going on there. And that's where I'm at right now. This is, I just started section 18 on this one. And there's 23 sections in total. And it's, uh, I thought it would be a really good way to use all of my leftover yarns. Because I do tend to accumulate a lot of bits and, yeah. There's a lot of leftover yarns always for my projects. But I think I have barely even made a dent in my stash. Um... What do you guys do when you get leftover yarns? Um, I try to do, I don't know, everything from dolls, clothes to projects like these, but I never seem to be able to, to lose that. I always have a lot of leftovers. But um, yeah, I'm loving this one. Maybe I'll make another one of these. Who knows? Um, I do have, <laughs> have enough yarn for it, that's for sure. And I, this should be finished soon. I don't think this weekend, because I still have, like I said, this is section 18. I'm sorry, I gotta look at the picture here. This is, yeah, section 18 out of 23. And I'm guesstimating that I will be knitting like yay much before I'm satisfied and think and have, a, have the length that I want. And I've finished uh, with other sections. So I'm not sure I will be able to do all that uh, this weekend. Because I'm doing a lot of other stuff as well. But I have decided there's going to be an I-card cast off around the whole thing and tassels and stuff. And I've never done an I-card cast off. Which will be interesting. But I have decided on which yarn to use. And it is this one. Unfortunately, I no longer remember what it's called. I bought it. It's like a merino something something. And it's, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? I love that coloring. I made myself a pair of mittens with this yarn years ago. I think it's maybe like five years ago. And I still wear them very often. They're awesome. But uh, yeah. So I have all this very, very awesome yarn that I've been saving now for using for the edging of this, uh, of the scarfy thing. Look, I love that. I know that this yarn is available, or at least it was then when I bought it. It was available in the different pink uh, colors, colorways. And I don't know, maybe I should see if I can, could get one of those because, oh, 
Oh man. Anyway, so I have that decided already. And as I already told you previously, I am a huge fan of turquoise. That is my favorite color of all time. And speaking of turquoise and um, ongoing projects, you guys are not going to believe I did this. Um, or maybe you will. <laughs> you know the cardigan, the bohemian cardigan that I'm working on? That I had to uh, just take out completely. Um, rip back totally the first time because I had cast on uh, not enough stitches. I was a hundred short. And I had to do everything again. And then when I did it the second time I realized that I had uh, two different dye lots. And you could totally see that there were different dye lots. I don't, have no idea how I managed to do that. So I had to rip it all back uh, or most of it back again. And do it over uh, and make sure I had the same dye lot for everything. And then... Uh, the other night I was uh, looking at my project and I was trying on the first one that I made in, in yellow. If you watch my, I think it's my first knit cast, I talk about that one. Or the second, maybe it's both. Um, I have made this cardigan in uh, a yellow base. And so I did, the other night I decided, now I'm going to try that on again for size and you know, try to decide what to do with the, this turquoise one that I'm making right now. And I came to the conclusion that even though I'm not petite in any way, sadly. Uh, no, not sadly. That's the wrong way to say. But, but I carry uh, some extra weight. I do. Um, and I decided I would try this on to know to make sure that it's, it's a good fit for me. The one that I've already made. Because this turquoise one, one is one that I want to keep. And I realized that the yellow one is way too big for me. So... I actually ripped everything back again and started over and I am making this in a smaller size. Um, I'm guesstimating that the yellow one is uh, extra extra large so I will make this I think will be an extra large yeah because I, I need to I carry some extra in the midsection and I, so I need some extra space and I, and I don't really like clothes that are tight, not knitted items that are, are a snug fit. I like to have a little leeway. So I have ripped everything back again. I have cast on fewer stitches and I have knitted this far for now. And um, fingers crossed we will, uh, I will make some progress, <laughs> some actual progress on this one. This far I have knitted so that I've just started the first p pattern that is comes around here. So, uh, yeah, fingers crossed I will actually get somewhere with this one. And look at that. <laughs> I didn't even bother to, to wind it up. I just ripped it back and left it in a pile and I cast on and I started knitting. So, yeah. Um, and I haven't done that much because I've been so, I've been so infatuated with the scarfy thing. So that has been taking up most of my time. Um, I've been mostly knitting on that one, which is also why I haven't made any progress on my experimental shawl. So I'm not going to bother showing you that one this week because nothing has happened since last week. I haven't knitted on that one at all. Uh, I did, however, uh, go to the movies last weekend, like I talked about, and cast on a movie knit, of course, because I'm, I'm that weird. I, I knit at the movies also, and um, I haven't knit on it since then. It was only during the movie, but it's a pair of socks that, yeah, this is just a basic ribbing. So I'm going to, next time I go to the movies, I will bring this and I will continue the ribbing and uh, we'll see where it goes. I do have a few ideas for decorations to put on this one. Because I was thinking that these would be like like spring socks uh, that I could uh, add to my seasons collection uh, of patterns. And that, I don't know how spring is wherever you live, but here spring can be 
can, spring can be really nice here. It can be warm and sunny and all that. And at the same time, it, the evenings can get really chilly and it can be a lot of rain and, and wind. So it could be nice to have a pair of, of knitted socks to, to, to put on in the evening. So that's, that's the idea that I'm having. And I, I'm, like I said, I'm thinking about doing some decorations maybe and putting on these like I did with the autumn mittens and socks that have leaves on them. So we'll see. I don't know if we'll be going to a movie this weekend. I am thinking about it. Maybe we could go see Guardians of the Galaxy 2, me and the young ones. Then I'll bring this. So this will be like a project that, you know, I just, uh, that grows every now and then when I'm at the movies or if I'm doing something that is, uh, you know, basically just sitting still watching and that I can do without looking at it. So. Uh, yeah so those are the projects that I am working on right now and that I have been working on for the past week there hasn't been much time to do uh, much else I would would have wished that I had had time to make some um, stitch markers I showed you last week I had bought some uh, things for that and I also bought that really really gorgeous uh, fabric to make um, knitting bags from and I haven't had time on that either but then again there's no rush you know I can do that uh, you know eventually however I am uh, trying to <laughs> to keep myself from buying or j just getting too much stuff because um, I I'm starting to feel that I am just accumulating a lot of stuff that I want to do and a lot of projects that I want to do and that I really need to to, to stop getting more stuff and actually do the things that I want to do. That being said, I did buy a couple of things um, the past week. And one of them is, and this is, I know I mentioned this, was it the last knit cast or the one before? I don't know. Um, wool dye colors. Because I am dying to try to dye yarn. Oh. Unintended pun, um, but I am. I would really like to try dyeing yarn myself. So I got this, uh, which is kind of the smallest kit that is available. I found a Swedish web shop that sells these, and I thought, you know, I just I needed something else from that place also. So I thought I'd just drop this in the shopping basket as well and um, try it out. Now I do have a uh, white yarn, white wool yarn to apply at home that I could use for this. But it's a very expensive yarn. It's from uh, Östergötlands Ullspinneri. And I don't really want to use that yarn just to experiment. Because it is a very expensive yarn. But I did find a different place that sells yarn intended for, for dyeing that had a, a better price. So I will get that. But I think I will hold off until the end of the month because, like I said, I, I need to to get somewhere with all these projects that I have uh, lying about right now. But I am um, I can't wait to try this. Um, it will be so much fun. Um, like I said, I had something else that I was uh, buying from this place, which was it's a bit hard to see what it is. That is a spinning wheel maintenance kit. And the reason I got this is because I bought two spinning wheels five years ago. It's a long time ago, I'll tell you that. And they both needed a bit of uh, tender love and care. There was nothing wrong with them, but they needed some, yeah, some minor issues to be fixed to be in order to be working properly and I've just never gotten around to doing that and uh, now I, I I think I started by by looking by searching for web shops in Scandinavia or in at least in Europe that were selling these things and I by accident stumbled across this web shop that has uh, all kinds of things for spinning and spinning wheels and, and stuff like that and so I found that and decided I would get it and 
once and for all get organized and get my spinning wheels working at least one of them because I really really want to learn how to spin my own yarn as well and I have a huge bag of wool just lying around that has also been lying around for like I don't know five years probably also I think I got them um, just shortly after I bought the spinning wheels so and I got and I got a book somewhere I think about spinning as well so I'm kind of I'm, tr I'm going to try to teach myself if I can uh, I don't know have you tried it um, I did try uh, spinning once when I was a little girl and I just tried it I didn't actually learn how to I just you know dabbled a bit but I always wanted to be able to do that and it's an art form that is on, on the one hand it is getting a, a, like a second revival um, these days then it's getting more popular but at the same time it is still an activity that is mostly older people older women that have been doing this and that knows how to do this so it's it's kind of a I don't know if it is is it back to to stay will it be popular popular for a longer time so that it will be easy to find someone that can teach you or is it uh, something that is kind of it's a technique that is it's disappearing I don't know I just want to learn how to do this and uh, because it would be so sad it would be so sad if that skill just kind of died out you know I would hate that uh, and also for me personal I would I would love to just be able to make my own yarn so anyway long ramble <laughs> I, I uh, will attempt to get my spinning wheels organized and uh, see if I can teach myself to spin some yarn and I did actually I did hear last year that not too far from here there is um, there is someone that knows how to to make yarn <clears throat> to spin your own yarn so I may have to try to, to find out who that was and ask if she can teach me because I don't just want to try, you know, I want to be, be good at doing it. I want to be, be able to make my own yarn. And uh, yeah, so I got that, but that is also the only thing that I bought the past week. Yay me. Uh, I am, though, I am expecting a few packages from eBay because I ordered a couple of items mm, not really knitting related. Kind of more craft related but uh, they haven't arrived yet but those were ordered like a month ago and i'm thinking they will pop up maybe next week or the week after so uh, but aside from that i have the intention of not buying anything else until the end of this month at least and that i instead should be be doing the things that i i have or be, be making things from the stuff that i already have um uh, and speaking, speaking of making things, of stuff you already have, or just projects that you would like to do. I would, of course, like to do all of the projects that I have uh, gotten stuff for. But I do have one project in particular that I would like to do someday. I don't know. If, if, do you, if you have one of those, let me know. Comment below. Mine is the wedding band shawl. I think that is such an awesome thing to, to make something so delicate but yet such a big item that is so delicate that you can actually pull it through a wedding band. That is so cool and I would really really love to do that someday but I'm not, I almost said I don't think I'm not skilled enough but I think I am. I just need to have the time and the patience for doing just that because that's my my biggest issue I tend to do like a zillion uh, things at the same time I will if I'm knitting I will watch a movie or I will read a book or you know I never do just one thing at a time so I probably need to to practice that a bit uh, but that is my wishful wishing project item I don't know um, do you have one? Let me know. I would love to hear what you are dreaming of making someday that you haven't gotten around to, or if you've already made the, the 
item of your dreams. Let me know. I would love to hear about it. I would love to see it. So feel free to post pictures as well, of course. Um, let's see. What else did I do? Oh, I did do one more thing this week that was not knitting related, but it was creative nonetheless. I actually may, I do, I mentioned this before, I work with physical security and uh, which means that I, one of the things that I do is I, I train people, I educate people in different uh, security related matters and one of the things that I do is I train evacuation leaders for, for our company and sometimes for other companies as well. And um, I always try to, to get, well at least for our company, I want everyone to have their own kit with, with stuff, uh, they have like a vest that says evacuation leader and they have maps and they have stuff. Uh, so I, I make that for them. And these vests can be bought, you now printed and everything, but they are really, really expensive. And so I thought, you know what, I'm not going to do that because it's ridiculous to pay that amount of money for, for something that I can do equally well myself. So I simply asked my boss and I told him, you know, I can do this. I don't, I'm not comfortable paying that amount of money for, for vests like that when I can, can do it for a fraction of the cost myself. It just, it takes a little while, but I, I don't mind doing it. And he said, sure, okay, you can do that. So that's what I did this week. Also, here's the template I made. You see it? I think, is it? Yeah. Um, so I made a template and I hand printed the text on all the vests and uh, I didn't film any of it but I do have I think I have a picture of it I will see I'm using uh, um, Premiere Pro to edit my uh, my YouTube films right now but I just recently got it and started using it and I'm learning as I'm going so I don't know if I will be able to do this but I will try to insert a picture somewhere in here like now I don't know if I managed to do that I'm um, like I said I'm still learning Premiere Pro if I wasn't able to, to insert a picture into the video I will add it uh, add a link to it or, or something um, down below if you want to see what what the vests actually turned out uh, like when they were done uh, so I did I do you know all kinds of creative stuff and and that was uh, one of the few times that I'm actually able to incorporate my creative side into my everyday job uh, which is something I'm not usually able to do other than when I'm, I'm making um, new training and, and e-learning classes and stuff like that of course but it's, it's not that often that I, that I can use actual uh, you know, printing and stuff like that so that was fun um yeah so what else let's see I'm sorry I'm looking at my my schedule here yeah actually that's that's basically it i don't have that much to else to talk about this week um again a lot of work it's it's that that time of year and it's it's been no it's not that time of year it's been uh, a lot extra because of the uh the event that took place in stockholm just before easter when um four people were killed actually five people were killed and um, that affects my work situation, of course. So I've had uh, a lot to do with that as well. Not, not that uh, situation in particular, but uh, yeah, the possibility of events like that occurring at all, you could say. So I had a lot to do. Uh, and I got, I actually got sick last Sunday where I was supposed to meet my friend and uh, that I haven't seen so long and unfortunately I got sick and he wasn't feeling too good himself either so we decided to put it off till you know some other day which was it was sad but I'm hopeful hopefully we'll we'll be able to see each other soon yeah so um, so that didn't happen I just basically stayed in the stayed on the couch under a blanket and watched movies and knitted of course <laughs> yeah, I think I made most of my progress on the, the scarfy thing that day and the the Monday as well because I wasn't feeling too good that day either 
Um, yeah, so week went by fast in general. There's not much more to tell, like just a lot of work and uh, stuff like that. And then Friday came and I really, really love Fridays now. I always love Fridays, but uh, particularly now because for, for the past month or so I've been, been kind of scurrying around on YouTube and I found different um, people and podcasts and, uh, and things like that that I follow. And it just so happens that several of my favorite um, channels that I'm following on YouTube are posting somewhere between the night to before Friday and during Friday day. So when I get home from work on Fridays, I have new episodes from several people. So basically I, ha I can be entertained all week and just, oh, I'm sorry, not all weekend, but all evening Fridays, just watching um, what I'd, other people have uh, have filmed and put up there. And it's uh, it's really nice. I always look forward to Friday nights now because I, I, I know that my favorite YouTubers will have posted something or other during the uh, yeah during the night and the, and the day before I come home from work so I'm loving that and um, uh, some of the people that I'm watching are uh, Cozy Up with the Stitching Sisters I am watching Woolen Vine her podcast I watch actually I, I watch uh, a channel called Back to Chubby which is about, it doesn't have anything to do with the crafts or knitting or anything like that. It's about weight loss, but I kind of, um, the the woman who does this channel, who has this channel, Rosaline, Rosalie, Rosaline, I'm sorry, I don't remember her name exactly. It's, it's kind of, I like her personality and I, it's always nice to, to watch her episodes also. And yeah, those are some of, of my favorites. Um, what are yours? Let me know, because I would love to have, and I, I like, you know, I like everything I do. I'm a, I'm a nerd <laughs> in every aspect of the word, totally. And um, I, I like to watch people that are, oh, I don't know, I don't know if I can define it. I can't define it. No, I can't. Uh, anyway, I just, if you have a favorite um, YouTuber or, you know, podcast or something that you are watching, feel free to give me a tip because I would love to, to have some. Oh, I forgot one. Sailing La Vagabond. Guys, you have to see that one. It's, uh, it's awesome um, also. So I, they are basically traveling the world or actually right now they're in, in France waiting f to have the new catamaran. Um, well, getting all the paperwork done so that they can set off on traveling. I think it's the Mediterranean with uh, their catamaran, but prior to that, they've been sailing in a sailboat, uh, like, uh, well, everywhere from the Caribbean to New Zealand. So uh, I like that kind of uh, videos as well. So if you have a favorite that would you would like to share, feel free to do so. I would love to see it. I will link uh, the ones that I'm talking about right uh, talking about now. I will link those below or in the show notes. Uh, I will link those uh, there so you can see them also. And speaking of different topics, I have been thinking a bit about what direction I want my channel to go, and. I'm having a hard time, no, I'm not having a hard time deciding what I want to do. I am having a hard time deciding if I want to put all my different topics in one channel or if there should be like different ones. Like for instance, I am not happy about myself and I don't, when I look in a mirror and I look at myself, it is not the same person that I envision up here when I think about myself and I have the, I've been thinking about doing something with that to, to kind of show people tend to call this a journey and I have a, a bit of a hard time with that expression I don't know why but for now let's, let's call it that my journey to feeling good about myself which is more than just, you know, the weight thing and all that. Um, 
and I would like to do every now and then just vlogs. I do have a couple of vlogs on this channel as well that are just, you know, random things. Uh, I'm thinking about doing that more regularly as well. And maybe I should have a segment that I just crafts and I keep this just a straight up knitting knit cast. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. Because um, I would love to, to do all the different things. I'm just having a hard time deciding if I'm going to do them all here on this channel or if I should have different channels. I would love to have everything here actually because it would maintaining several channels would be really really that would be a lot of work and I do not have that much time but um, yeah let me know if you have any thoughts or ideas on, on that topic feel free hit me so I am going to finish up for now because I'm losing light all the time as we speak and it's turning really gray and cloudy outside which doesn't help either and I have promised my kids that we are going to barbecue. So I guess I better hurry up with that before the rain comes. So I'm going to go do that. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.